NBA training camp is officially underway, and I think this week we've gotten a more clear explanation as to why Kyrie Irving left the Cleveland Cavaliers. And shocker here, it has everything to do with LeBron James. Now, I just want to say this was the greatest NBA offseason of all time in terms of everything. Trades, free agent moves, and storylines. It began the day after the NBA Finals and officially ended one day into training camp with Dwayne Wade signing a one-year deal with the Cavaliers. With no basketball games being played besides a few summer league games, the NBA dominated the headlines the last four months. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm actually kind of sad because I don't want the offseason to end. Sadly, the NBA offseason is far more exciting than the regular season, which is pretty much a six-month preseason when more than half the teams in the league make the playoffs. Anyways... On to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie is now a member of the Boston Celtics, and I think we know why he asked for a trade. Not because of what he said, but because of what LeBron said. Let's take a look. Try to do whatever I could do to, to help the kid out, be the best player he can be. At some point, when he was ready to, to take over the keys, I was ready to give them to him. And I wish the kid, wish the kid great health um, and uh, the kid wanted to do what was best for his, uh, I guess, for his career. Try to do whatever. So, first off, Kyrie Irving may still be young, but that but calling someone kid that's hit the game-winning shot in Game 7 of the NBA Finals, I can see why that may rub him the wrong way. And then to say phrases like, I was ready to hand him the keys, LeBron sounds like a dad ready to give his son his old car once he turns 16. And then he'll go off and buy a brand new car, the new car in the metaphor, of course, being the Los Angeles Lakers. This is why Kyrie wanted a trade. Because in the eyes of the media, and it looks like in reality, LeBron wasn't Kyrie's mentor, he was his father, or at least LeBron thought he was, so it's easy to understand why Irving was frustrated, especially when the media asks him questions like this. Kristen called LeBron a great father after the Chicago game. What, what type of parental role has he played for you and your teammates, LeBron? Oh, okay, so you, t uh, yeah, yeah, I, parental role? <laughs> I don't know how to really answer that question. I'm, He's been, a, he's been a, a great leader for us. So LeBron and the media treats Kyrie like a child. Most people believe LeBron leaving Cleveland is inevitable next year, and the Cavs currently have a bunch of aging veterans on short contracts. Gee, I wonder why Kyrie asked for a trade. Regardless, it all ended up working out. Kyrie is better off in Boston on a team that looks to be the best in the East, if not this year, the next 5 to 10 years. And LeBron and Cleveland are better off because they have a loaded team filled with veteran all-stars for one more year before the Cavs organization goes to hell again. Okay, 